All right, me and Luke are about to head out, go up to Louisville, go see a couple of classic monster movies. We're going to go see The Wolfman and Preach from the Black Lagoon. You ready, Luke? All right, we're on our way. We've been on the road for a few, a little while now, and uh, there's the National Corvette Museum. Once you cross into Kentucky, you see that there. Pretty cool place. We're into classic cars. We've been there before. Cool spot. One of the uh, landmarks you have to look for coming up from Nashville to Kentucky. It's right there. Dinosaur World. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, right there, Dinosaur World, there it is. We're going to get off here, take a little closer look. Look at this asshole on my tail back behind me. Hey, say hi to the camera, I'm a jerk. I'm going to tailgate this guy. He goes, there's the jerk. Mr. Tailgater. Yeah, he's got to love life size plastic dinosaurs by the side of the road. It's awesome. This is an awesome tourist trap area called uh, Guntown Mountain right around Mammoth Cave and that's Dinosaur World where you can walk around and see the life-size dinosaurs. There it is right there. But we are going to go check out something else cool. Alright, here we go. This is the Guntown Mountain tourist trap area and I'm going to show you one of the coolest things here that is no longer open unfortunately it makes me very sad but right around this corner is Charming Charles's haunted house this used to be an old fun house style walk through haunted house attraction here we're going to pull up here where we can see it right there Charming Charles's. We're going to get out and take a look at it. All right, there it is. Charming Charles's. We're going to walk up there, but first, where we are is we're outside this place here, this country store. What does it say? Smith's Country Store. Looks like they got hams, bacon, sausage, gifts, bourbon, whiskey, candy. They got it all here, baby. Yeah. We're going to go in there and look around in a minute, too, but this is old ride here. I don't think it does, Luke. I don't think it does work. But Charming Charles's right here. I came on a trip here not that long ago, and oh, say that not that long ago, a couple years ago, and it was still open. But now it's decrepit and closed up. Well, I can see why they closed it because it's like pretty unsafe. Yeah, it was pretty unsafe at the time. What the world needs is more Charming Charles's haunted houses. That's what the world needs. And I'm serious about that. This is a bygone of past eras. There's Charles himself. He's up there sitting at his piano, but he stopped playing, sadly. Sup, Charles? Got some gravestones over here on the ground. They've fallen over. Poor James, his headstone fell over. There he is. There's Charles close up. What about this place, Luke? Got wood, got nails coming out. Yeah, it's pretty pretty bad condition. All right, now we're gonna go back down to this store down here. Let you guys check us out. This is uh, this is uh, an adventure, and then we'll be heading on north. We've been on the road for I don't know, maybe 
30, 45 minutes now. Somebody lives there. Heading on up to Louisville here in a minute. Box of food on the step. Oh, somebody littering. Alright. Check that out. They got comic books on one side and hams on the other. Looks happy. We got a collection of jellies and a few more hams on racks. Kind of a little grocery store. There's also a souvenir shop. Check this out. You got your uh, shot glasses and magnets. All right, we got a few more collectibles here. Collectibles. Yeah. Nice uh, collection of stuff. Get some shot glasses here set here. Over here we got our fine art selection. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's not just any place you can go and get comic books and country ham. That's right. But we're on our way now to Louisville. Luke's set with a Spider-Man comic book, so we're good to go. On the road again. Triceratops. On our way out now, we're passing by uh, Dinosaur World again. There's the entrance. Dinosaur World thing about the south getting great billboards like this one right here it's the second one or third one we passed on the way up here there you go saving souls through billboards all right we're here now making our way to the theater we parked on the street and didn't put money in the meter so we're hoping our car's still here when we get out i guess we'll see <laughs> All right, we're coming up to the Palace Theater now where they're showing these Universal Monster movies all summer long. I think this is actually the last weekend with Wolfman and Creature from the Black Lagoon. I waited, saved the best for last. And here's my buddy Dave Conover and Jay Sorrels up here waiting for me. What's up, guys? There's the Palace Theater. <clears throat> This is the way a theater should look. So Dave, how old is this theater? 1927 or 28. Holy cow. It was actually built as a movie theater. That's amazing. These are all like great composers and artists. Video of you with it. 